Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to record WebEx meetings for use in your Blackboard course. So to start we're going to go to the Canopy login page and that address is canopy.uc.edu. Under the Canopy tools section you're going to notice a WebEx link. So in clicking that it's going to open up the UC Knowledge Base WebEx information page. And this is just a bunch of information about what is WebEx, how it's used, and so on. But if we scroll, uh, scroll down to about halfway, you're going to see a students section. And we're going to click the first link, usenstudents.webex.com. And that's going to bring you to your main login page for WebEx. Now I've already got that pulled up in a tab here. And you'll see that when you log in, you're going to see a, a start meeting button. Now if you're the person responsible for creating a meeting and hosting the meeting for your group in the class, this is the page that you're going to come to. If you're a participant in the group and not the person responsible for starting the meeting, you're going to use an email hyperlink that is sent to you from the meeting host. So we're going to pretend that you're the meeting host. You're going to click Start Meeting. And your WebEx meeting room is already going to appear. There we go. So from here, there's a couple things that you as the host are going to need to do. One, you're going to need to invite any other meeting uh, attendees. So you'll click this uh, little button here. You can use your local email. And uh, what that will do is allow you to create an invite that you'll put uh, your attendees uh, up here in your two. You've got your link here. You'll send that off and then the attendees can join. The second thing you're going to want to do after inviting your attendees is actually connect your computer uh, using either the connect computer button here so you can uh, hear and see everyone, uh, everyone else in the meeting. Uh, or you can use a landline or a cell phone. Uh, for this purpose I'm just going to use my computer uh, since I already have a built-in mic and a webcam. There we go. So now I'm connected. So every, pro uh, every group member who joins this meeting is going to need to do the same thing. Uh, either by using a cell phone, landline, or by connecting their computer audio. Alright, <clears throat> so everybody's in the meeting. We're ready to go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I want to click this record button. This is actually going to communicate with the WebEx server and record this meeting. All the audio, anything that's displayed. Uh, if I have a chat panel here and people are, are typing in the chat panel, uh, that information will be captured as well. Okay, you can also share your screen. So if you have a PowerPoint presentation or some documents to talk about as a group, uh, you can display those uh, in the meeting room. Once you're finished with the meeting, you're going to go ahead and stop the recording and then leave the room. And the meeting room is now closed and everything is ready to go. So you're taken back to your WebEx dashboard. You're going to want to go to uh, My Recorded Meetings. That's under Host a Meeting. And then from here we've got the files that we just recorded. So we're going to click More Options and Download. Now uh, a word to the wise, depending on how long your meeting is, uh, sometimes these recordings can take anywhere from 30 minutes uh, to 24 hours for them to display in this section. So if you, if you go right here and you, you don't see it right away, uh, don't panic. It will take some time uh, in some cases for that to upload. Okay, so once you have the meeting downloaded, we're going to open it up here and it's going to pull up in the network recording player uh, just as if we were uh, going to watch it. But instead of watching it, I'm going to jump up here to this file option, convert format, and then I'm going to select M uh, MP4 and that's pretty universal video codec. The first thing we're going to want to do is find a location to save that and I'm going to browse and say I want this to go to my videos folder and I'm going to title this meeting one and save it. Then I'm going to want to select any panels that I may have had up and running. So if I had a chat panel, uh, a video that was being displayed, a polling panel, so on and so forth, I'm going to want to select all of those panels. Uh, video quality, medium is okay, high is going to be better, but the file size is going to be larger. Uh, and we're going to leave the conversion time right now as convert now when I click OK. So I'm going to do so. And now the video is recording uh, down to, or uh, converting, I should say, down to my computer, and I can see this little globe icon in my uh, system tray, and it's going to tell me how much that video uh, has been converted. At this point, we're sitting at about six percent. So while that video is rec uh, converting, I'm going to close out of all of this, and I'm going to go to my Blackboard course. So I'm in my course. I need to upload the uh, assigned recording. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to click on this Write Submission button. 
And then from there, we see there's a mashups tool. So I'm going to click this little drop down. And actually, I'm going to select Kaltura Media. All right, there we go. So what I need to do is add a new Kaltura Media. And this is going to be the video that we just downloaded to our computer. So I'm going to click Add New, Media Upload. Select Choose a File. And now here are the meetings that I just recorded. So Meeting 1 is sitting here, ready to go. All right, it uploads. You can name anything, uh, you know, change the name if you need to, add any kind of description, uh, and then add some tags. Now there is one tag that's pretty important that we add, and that's called KAF underscore global underscore channel. Uh, now this is this is a tag that's pretty universal on Blackboard. Basically, it lets the video transfer from course to course. Uh, so if there's ever a need for the faculty member to bring this video with them into a different session. Uh, it'll transfer and they won't lose any of the data. We also recommend that you put the uh, the course name in there. So for example, we're in, uh, let's say, HI7050 uh, right now. And we'll add that as a tag. And then we also recommend that you put your, uh, your name. So we'll say that's my last name. There we go. All right, everything is saved. And now I'm going to click this Back to Browse and Embed button. There we go. So there's the meeting recording. I'm going to click Select. And voila, the meeting recording video is now uploaded into that uh, text box. So I'll click Submit. And now my video has been submitted. And the faculty member uh, responsible for this course uh, can now watch the video and grade it. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to your faculty member for assistance. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.